Hi, I'm Teacher Red. In this video, we will learn how to plot polar coordinates. So far, up to this point, we've been uh, we've dealt exclusively with the Cartesian or rectangular coordinate system. However, as we will see, this is not always the easiest coordinate system to work in. So, in this section or in this video, we will start looking at the uh, polar coordinate system. Without further ado, or without wasting any more time, let's start our tutorial. Okay, uh, we have here some examples to uh, illustrate the application on how to plot points using polar coordinates. So, plot the following points having the uh, given polar coordinates. For point 1, we have uh, the uh, range vector equal 4 and the polar angle equal 60 degree. Point 2, we have uh, the radius vector 5 and the polar angle theta, which is equal to 3 pi over 4 expressed in terms of radian. Okay, point 3, we have uh, the radius vector negative 6 and the polar angle theta is equal to 300 degree. And the last point we have is uh, the radius vector 4 and the polar angle happens to be negative 120. We have point 1 to be plotted. Having a coordinates of R equal 4 and the polar angle 60 degree. Indicating the given, so we have R equal 4 and the polar angle theta equal 60. So we'll first draw the, uh, the normal and the polar axis. Okay, we'll start plotting the 60 degree angle. Now since that angle is positive, and that is greater than zero, we will measure the 60 degree angle in a counterclockwise direction from the positive polar axis. Since uh, this is the polar axis, we will draw a uh, measure 60 degree angle here in counterclockwise direction. So we have this 60 degree angle. Next, since R equal to four and it happens to be positive and that is also greater than zero we will measure r equal 4 along the terminal side of this angle 60 degree okay from the pole we will draw the line since r equal to 4 we will lay up 4 units distance on this line so we have the first unit the second unit the third unit and the last unit so this is r equal to 4 so we have this point with the coordinate of 4 and 60 degree okay we have the uh, second second point to be plotted so we have that point 2 uh, the radius vector happens to be 5 and the polar angle 3 pi over 4 which is expressed in terms of radian indicating the given verse so we have uh, r is equal to 5. Now since theta, which is the polar angle 3 pi over 4, is expressed in terms of radian, we will try to convert that uh, in terms of degree angle. So this is it. Since phi is equal to 180, 180 type times 3, so we have 540 divided by 4 is equal to 135. So then therefore, theta is equal to 135. Okay, uh, draw the, uh, the, the normal and the polar axis here. Okay, uh, plotting the uh, theta first, since theta, which is the polar angle, happens to be positive and that is greater than zero, we will measure the given angle 135 in a counterclockwise direction from the polar axis. Okay, so this is it. And it happens to be uh, in between 90 and 180. And then we have the radius 5. And the radius 5 happens to be positive and that is greater than 0. We will measure the radius 5 along the terminal side of theta. So I mean to say we will draw a line here from the pole. So this is it. And we will lay off on this line uh, 5 units distance. So we have the first unit here. The second one. The third one. The fourth one. And the fifth one. So we have R is equal to 5. 
and this is the given point P having a coordinates of 5 and 135. That's all we have for today. Just stick around and we'll continue the second part of this series. By the way, uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you would not miss any of our latest video episodes. Now, if you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below. Again, this is Red Alope. Thanks for watching. Please do check out the other video that I have for you. Bye for now and God bless.